Our mission, steal everything from the neighbor's house. Why? Because it'll probably annoy him. Everybody, I am Kindly Key and welcome back to Hello Neighbor 2. The time has finally come, as you guys probably know. In Hello Neighbor 1, we found a lot of creative ways to annoy the neighbor, one of which was trying to steal everything from his house. Well, now we have Hello Neighbor 2. So I figured, why don't we try stealing everything from the house in Hello Neighbor 2? Now, technically, the neighbor isn't here. We still don't really know what the neighbor is up to. He shows up at the end and he seems pretty upset but regardless of how involved the neighbor is with his current house i still want to steal everything out of it so that is precisely what we're gonna do today or at least we're gonna try now how many items can we actually hold oh can't pick up the bike that's a little disappointing i really wanted to take that bike but how many items can we actually hold in our inventory as you guys know in hello neighbor one we could hold four items in hello neighbor two it seems like we can hold a lot more than just four items. Six? Seven? I don't know. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, but I wonder if it's based on like a weight limit sort of thing. I have no idea. Either way, we're gonna be carrying everything back to our cool van. And some of the items that we're going to collect from the neighbor's house are quite literally garbage, but that's okay. Maybe we're actually doing a favor for the neighbor. We're cleaning up his house. Well, we're starting in the kitchen, as you can see. Can we take that big old pig head? I want the pig head. Nope, can't take the pig head, okay. Um, let's, let's be careful. Oy, he's here, he's here, he's, I don't like you. Okay, you're throwing me out with the thing that I just collected. Can I have that back, please? Get away. Okay, the guest is very annoying. Just, just for the record, he's he's very, very annoying. Throwing me outside. Hey, that's my garbage bag. Why are you taking that garbage bag with you? All right, fine, I'll take this garbage bag with me then. Now, if we have to, I do have access to the Greenhouse M13 trainer, which allows us to kind of stop the guest from being annoying. And let's face it, the guest, He's really annoying. So that may be something that I end up doing just to make this process actually possible. Look at him. He's just, he's camping. You can't camp. That's cheating. It's not a legitimate strategy. It's not. Maybe, maybe what we can do is kind of like lure him away. I, I, I don't really know. I don't know what the best strategy is to get this guy out of our hair. We could just delete him from existence. That is an option. The guest is being real annoying, so uh, let's F4 him. F4. It does not work. He is still very, very much here. So apparently there's a newer version of Greenhouse M13's trainer. It seems very cool. And it's worth mentioning that Greenhouse M13 works on these mods completely free. So if you want to support him, he has a Patreon. I'll link to it in the description down below since you guys can't click this. It doesn't work like that. But either way, let's try to delete the guest. I would really like him to go away. What? Whoa. You guys see that? What is... What? What is that? That is weird. Okay, go away, please. Did I... Did I delete him? <gasps> I deleted him and he took me with him. <laughs> he doesn't really get deleted. He just gets teleported to a different area. I have no idea where we are. We're going to have to ghost back to the main area of the map. This is actually insane. I was not expecting this to happen. Wow, we are very far away. Okay, this might take a few minutes to get back home, but we'll get there any minute now. We'll be back where we started. It's worth mentioning as well, in the updated version of Greenhouse M13's trainer, we can now use console commands and you can see you can summon stuff and you can change the amount of stuff that you summon we could get real crazy with that. So let me know if that's something that you guys want to see in Hello Neighbor 2. We're back! It only took like 10 minutes to fly back to the neighbor's house, but we're here. And we don't have to worry about the guest anymore. I know, it kind of is cheating, but honestly, the guest is super annoying and I got work to do. I got to clean up this house. I also need to figure out how many actual items 
I can hold in my inventory. I think I'm holding seven. No, six right now. Okay, let's see. Seven, eight. No, seven is the max. Again, I'm not sure if it's like a weight thing or if it's an actual just capacity. Seven seems like a very random number to be able to hold, but that's the way it is. So we'll just roll with that. Let's pick up all these cones and garbage and chairs. We're really cleaning up this place. Don't you worry, neighbor. When you come back, you're going to have nothing in your house. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we're helping him out. I mean, let's be honest. His house has seen better days. This place is a mess. The guest has made an absolute garbage heap out of this place. Can I, I can't take the pillow? Okay, fine. Have your pillow. You can keep it. Can I take the car door? <laughs> sure can't. Cannot take car doors, but we got a pretty good pile of garbage out here and it's only gonna get bigger. And let me know if you have more ideas for things that we can do in Hello Neighbor 2 that would be weird and fun. Let's turn on the shower and then just leave. <laughs> That'll show him. We'll flood his house. How am I gonna fit all this junk in my cool van? I might need like a, a trailer or something to tow this stuff away in. I didn't think that through. Okay, so the kitchen is done. We can't take the pig head, which is a bummer. Now, what about this area? Is there is there anything? We can't even take the pictures off the walls? Wait, whoa, I didn't know you could hide behind the curtains. I don't think there's anything in these lockers. Of course, there's the weird clipboards of us. Anything here that I can take? Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, the water's still running, sweet. All right, I think that we can safely move on to the second floor. Oh, actually, there's a cone right here. Whew, almost missed that cone. That could have been catastrophic. Let's head upstairs. Can we, uh, can we get this thing open? I don't actually know how to open this gate. Is there a way to open this gate? Who needs to open gates when you can just fly through them? <laughs> oh, that makes life easier. All right, let's get to grabbing. We got stuff to pull out of this house. And actually, since we're kind of trapped up here and I don't want to make the journey back and forth, up and down, up and down, let's just collect everything and then just chuck it out the window and then we'll bring the stuff to our pile uh, once we've gotten everything out of the house. Just throw it into the front yard. Wait, whoa, what is, what is going on with these boxes? You see that? Are they full of styrofoam? I think that's styrofoam. That's actually a pretty cool effect. I like that. What about the shoes? Can we, we can't take the shoes? That's incredibly disappointing. All right, well, we'll take these jars. Have no idea what's in the jars. Maybe I don't want to know. We'll just chuck them out the window. There you go. Okay, something really strange is happening because all the items seem to be full of styrofoam. I, I have no idea what that effect is and why that's happening, but it's happening. And we'll just continue on with our lives and not worry about it too much. Okay, so we do need to get this door open. I actually forget the code. I could just go through it too. I mean, that's an option as well. Let's just take everything from the other areas. Actually, there's a ton of stuff in this area that we are gonna need to grab, right? There's a lot of junk in here. And then we have to collect it all from his front yard. Neighbor, why don't you have a more convenient way of cleaning up your top floor? You really gotta think about that kind of stuff. I can't pick up any of these boxes. That's really strange. Why can I pick up other boxes, but not this one? Also, why is this jar so big? I can't see anything when I'm holding it. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the jar. Uh, let's grab the key. I can barely see. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. It's just a normal size jar as far as I can tell, but for some reason, it completely blocks my view when I'm holding it. Look at all these crows. Looks like we're creating a bit of a crow problem in the neighbor's front yard. Hopefully he doesn't mind. What about this junk? No, oh, we can't take any of the junk on the shelves. Okay, wait, there's the jar. It's a normal jar I can actually see. Incredible. Ooh, a clock? Okay, I got the clock. What else can I grab? Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. That's right. And how do we, is there a way to open this gate? I don't actually know. Oh wait, coat hanger. Gotta take the coat hanger. I think that we've grabbed everything from kind of like the main area of the second floor. Is there any stuff up here on these shelves that I can take? Doesn't look like it. Is that a meat hook? That is terrifying. Why do you have a meat hook in here? Okay, I think we're good. With this area, we do need to open this, but we can also just fly through it. Let's just do that. Okay. Whoa. 
It's kind of random. I guess this is just kind of like an escape route that you can open up once you have the crowbar. Is that the way that works? I don't know. Speaking of which, let's grab the crowbar. Now we can remove some planks. Sure. Let's do that. Now there is an issue with these planks. I can't actually pick them up. Why can't I? I can't pick up the planks once I've removed them from the windows. Okay, then we won't remove any more planks. Let's pull this lever. I think that opens a gate, but I don't know which one. Let's try and find out. Oh, it opens this gate to the upstairs. So now I know how to open the gate to the upstairs. Does it open the gate over here as well? It totally does. This is good information. And then we can grab the fire extinguisher. Nope. No, there's no fire extinguisher. They tricked me. Now, I may be speaking too soon here, but I think that we managed to get everything out of the neighbor's house. So what I'm going to do now is just collect all of the garbage from his front yard and put it in a nice, pretty, disgusting pile. And once I finish that, then we'll go back into the house. We'll scan every nook and cranny and make sure that we got everything. So instead of all the garbage being inside of his house, we're going to put it in a big, disgusting pile right outside of his house. Hey, I just got shot by something. <laughs> Looks like a tiny garbage bag. OK, so I'm just doing a bit of a scan around the neighbor's front yard, making sure that I picked up all the stuff that I threw out of the window. I think we're pretty good. Is there any stuff that we should collect back here? I don't think so. I, I in fact, I don't think that you can actually pick up the items down here and technically I don't really think of this as the neighbor's house. This is just a massive ditch in his backyard. <laughs> Although I do see those cones and they're making me mad. Let's go get them. Oh, I can't even pick them up. What about these chairs? Okay, I can grab some chairs. I don't know why the neighbor has so many chairs in this area. Actually, that's a lot of chairs. I just noticed. Whoa, a garbage bag just fell from the sky. Huh? Hold up. Is this some kind of garbage chute that just drops junk back here? Is that why there's such a huge pile? If it is, that's the first time I've noticed it. Yeah. This thing just spits out chairs and garbage bags. And I have no idea why. Okay. That is strange. Let's just go ahead and move along. I can't help but notice that more of these weird booby traps keep showing up. Even though the guest is quite literally on the other side of the map. Who's putting these here? I don't like it. And look at this. Someone triggered the gates in the neighbor's house. This is weird. I was not expecting this. But anyways, um, there's some junk on the neighbor's porch that I missed. So I need to get that stuff and add it to my beautiful pile of literal garbage. Look at that beautiful pile. As far as I know, this is everything from the neighbor's house. But let's go back through the house and let's just make sure. So first, the first floor, just looking around. Oh, wait, is there anything in there? Nope, nothing. Shower still running, perfect. Kitchen, looks good. I just noticed that the pig has the gun in his mouth. <laughs> it's weird. First floor, totally clear. I love it. Let's head to the second floor. Oh, some new stuff showed up, I, I guess. We got, we got some, uh, some binoculars, a camera, a flashlight. The key came back? Why did the key come back to the spot? I thought I threw it out into the garbage pile. I don't know. I'm confused. It's okay. Confusion is half of the fun. But as far as I can tell, I think we have completely cleared out the neighbor's house to the best of our ability. It's beautiful. Let's add the final touches to our... Oh my gosh, what? It, what? Uh, that was terrifying. I think the booby trap shot me. <laughs> and because I was in ghost mode, I went through the map like I was falling. I don't know. That's weird and scary. Let's play out the final cutscene. And um, I guess we'll just see what happens i i've never actually done it this way like totally cheating we go to the costume we take the costume and then it's open and uh, i just want to see is is my pile of garbage still it totally is look at that beautiful pile of garbage it's wonderful it is truly wonderful all right neighbor i win 
he still looked pretty grumpy. But there you have it, mission completed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have more ideas for things that we can try out in Hello Neighbor 2, let me know in the comment section down below. But that is gonna do it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.